for joining us. You tweeted, quote, under no circumstances should the House vote for a McConnell-only bill with no negotiation with Democrats. Hell no. That's an abdication of power we should refuse to accept. They will keep hurting kids if we do. Those are strong words against Speaker Pelosi. And, and that bill, as you know, passed 84 to 8 in the Senate. A lot of liberal Democrats voted for it. Explain why you're taking such a strong stance here. Because, uh, you know, Jake, this is an issue not just of the substance of the bill, but also the process of how we got here. We passed a House version of this bill, which had far more humanitarian provisions and accountability, and accountability for the facilities that are abusing kids at our border. And Mitch McConnell immediately smacked it down in order to pass and ram through a Senate bill that has an enormous amount of funding for military, as well as no guardrails and no ability for facilities that are abusing our kids. So that's the bill that's in front of us here in front of the House. However, we didn't even bother to negotiate. There are House amendments. We could have negotiated it in. We could have conferenced. We could have tried to get amendments in to get humanitarian provisions put in, to get consequences for facilities that abuse kids in. And instead, what we're doing is that we're immediately going to just saying yes to what got passed out of the Senate. And these are two completely different dynamics. The Senate, you have a minority Democratic Party there. And here, we are the House of Representatives, and we are a House majority. And we need to act. There are kids, as you point out. And the Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleen, and he's been talking, he's been warning about this for months. Mm -hmm. It's going to be overcrowded. We need funding. Three billion of the 4.6 billion uh, is going to housing for kids, for migrant kids. I think another 800,000 or so going to housing for, for other undocumented immigrants, adults. By, by opposing both bills, mm -hmm. aren't you just ultimately depriving these kids of housing facilities that they need? Well, when you look at both of how both of these bills happened, uh, Jake, I think it's important that we have members of Congress that stand up and actually call truth to the situation. The House bill passed resoundingly. There were only four Democrats that defected, including myself, from that bill. And the reason I defected is because I needed to send a message to my constituents and my folks back home. And in fact, my constituents asked me to vote no on the bill. But if it ultimately came down to it, if we needed to, if we needed a hundred percent every single Democrat to vote on this bill, we could do it with the amendments. But the problem right now and the question at hand right now is that Mitch McConnell sent us a bill and we're just putting a big check mark on it instead of even trying to negotiate. I have indicated that I'm willing to stay here. I don't need to go home on vacation. I don't need to mm -hmm. go home to July 4th weekend. I will stay here all weekend to make sure that we get this thing done. And instead what Mitch McConnell is doing is that he's relying on the time pressure of recess to try to ram through a bill that is completely irresponsible to the American people and to those kids on the board.